Hi guys, this is JP from FSI Panel. Welcome to this new video where I will show you how to use FSI Panel 2020 with the Aerosoft Airbuses. That includes the 320s Pro version and the A330 Pro. So let's see how it works. First of all, we don't need to import aircraft anymore like in the old version of FSI Panel. The only thing we need to do is to load an Airbus in P3D. So let's do that. I go to my P3D and I will select an Airbus. So let's take a 330 for this training. I will take Edelweiss Air from Switzerland. I like it very much. And we don't need to select any airport, so just click OK. So now the Airbus will be loaded in P3D. And what is important is that we set our weight correctly, the weight we want to use for the training, as well as the engines running. So let's see how we do that the easiest way. Now I'm on the Airbus. All right, you can see on the Airbus, best way to do that, I go to the aircraft state here and select takeoff state. So now basically engine will be started. Everything will be set for you. So we just wait. One way to know that everything is ready is when you get here the uh, page with the landing gear. So for now you see that Aerosoft is still working on it. So the cargo door will close. Yes, still not ready yet. Flaps not in takeoff. And when it's ready, you will get here, the page will change. In the meantime, what we can do, now that it's almost ready, we can go, okay, now you see the, the, the screen is ready. What we can do now is set the aircraft weight. So to do that, what I do is I go to the uh, options and we have Sorry, it was not in options. This is on the load fuel, sorry, yes. And we select number of passengers. Let's say we have 220 passengers. I want a cargo of five tons. Fuel, let's take eight tons of fuel and I will click on instant load. All right, so now the aircraft is loaded exactly as we want. We have the gross weight indicated so everything is good. We are ready to go and fly. So let me close those screens. Okay, so basically now the Airbus is in a position ready to fly with FSI panel. So let's go to FSI panel and we can select any airport we want. So here I will keep this one for the first landing. This is the one where we are right now, which is in the US. Let's select the vectors, for example, we're going to be left hand vectors and we are ready to fly. So let's click on move aircraft and let's see what happens. So we go back to P3D automatically. Now the flaps will be moving to one plus and here we are. So here what you have to do, move your thrust lever to climb the tent. When you see speed right there, it means you are in the right position. You can cross check your position as well there. And then we let FSI panel do the work. As you can see, the autopilot has been programmed. Now your FMC will be programmed as well. And let's see. We are reaching 3,100 feet. I'll cruise. And Hold your brake for two seconds to take control. So now basically we are ready to fly. To so to take control, I hold the brake two seconds and I have the control. I can am approach. Put the second autopilot and we are ready to fly this approach. So this is the way you fly with the Airbus. Let's see now we want to do a final approach. So again, I go back to FSI panel. Let me show you the setup options of this aircraft. If we go to setup, and we go to Aerosoft, we can see the auto brake setting. You can select off, low or medium. And we can select the default landing flap within full, sorry, which is the default of flaps three. And do you want the after landing flow to be done once you land? This feature is very nice. Once you land and you vacate the runway and your speed is less than 30 knots, 
the FSI panel will be doing the after landing flow. So let's try now to move to Europe. We can go to Zurich on runway 14 on short final. And we are going to move the aircraft. So now we are moving completely to somewhere else. Let's see what happened. Don't worry about the uh, master warning. We just wait and see what happened. It will take around 30 seconds and you'll be ready to fly. We should be on short final in Zurich, so let's see. I see the heading, alt cruise. Aircraft is coming down to 2,400 feet. Alt cruise. Is my runway in front of me? Yes, perfect. The runway is in front of me. Let's have a look at the configurations. We have flaps full. We have the landing memo all green. And we will get the message any second here to take over control. All right. Engines pulling up. Aircraft ready for your training. Hold your brake two seconds to take over control. So I'm going to do that. Hold the brake and I can arm the approach if I can see the switch. No, that was not the one. This one. And we're gonna put the second autopilot. And now we are on a Cat 3 Dual. Lock and glide. Let's fly the approach and see the after landing flow. Speed managed. Here you see what happened. I was slightly off this, the localizer, so the aircraft didn't capture. So we'll try to get stabilized by 500 feet as we are visual. Let's see if we can manage. If not, we will do a missed approach. We'll do a go around. 500 feet is the latest to be stabilized. So now we are very high. Way too high, so that would be a go around. So we'll go around, toga, flaps, three, nav, SRS climb, and here we go. So unfortunately, guys, as you see, I screw it up. Let's try it again. So we go short final, move aircraft. And as you can see, I just wait. I'm in the middle of a go around. And FSI panel should do the work for me. Here we are. So make sure you have your thrust lever again in climb. And now we don't touch anything. I was in the middle of a go around and I will be again in the right position to try another approach. Why it didn't work? It's because the localizer was slightly to my left. I am the approach. But unfortunately, as I was not on the localizer, the aircraft didn't start descent. So this time we'll make sure that it works. So let's see that. Alt cruise. Soon we'll get the control. All right. Aircraft ready for your training. Hold your brake to take control. So hold my brake. I have control. Let's arm the approach. With the second autopilot and this time I will just move my heading a little bit to the left to make sure we intercept here the localizer. Now localizer is captured so the glide slope will come as well. Glide slope is there. Glide slope will get captured. Glide slope star lets me stop approach altitude 4000 feet and we are ready for the landing. So let's do the landing and see the after landing flow. Thank you. 
Okay, we are approaching the runway. We'll do an auto land. Land. Three hundred feet. All good. I'm ready to retard. Let's see how this uh, A330 is performing on the auto land. Always be ready to take over control if it goes wrong. 50 flare, perfect. Retard. Beautiful. I help the reversers. I will take manual braking. We try to exit via the first right. Idle reverses. And now we will see what happened with the after landing flow. So I just landed. I get here my quick landing summary. The full landing report is available in the FSI panel. We'll see it in a minute. Now make sure your speed is below 30 knots. As you can see now, I'm still fast. 33 knots, 32 knots. So you must be below 30 knots for the feature to work. I'm talking about the after landing flow. So vacate the runway. And now we make sure we are below 30 knots and we just retract one step of flaps. That's it. And now your first officer is doing it for you while you can taxi the plane. So you see I'm taxiing the plane and I can see that my flaps are retracted and my EPU should be on the way to be started. So now we just let it to the first officer to do the after landing flow. Basically, we can concentrate on our taxi. All right, guys, I hope you like this video. This is the way to fly the Airbus of Aerosop, any kind of Airbus, the 320, the 330s. You just have to make sure that you put your thrust lever to climb and you just wait until everything is set up. You can use manage speed as soon as you have control, it's no problem. And uh, it she flies very well. So thank you for watching and as always, happy landing, fly safe. See you soon.